Got some work done this weekend. A little bit on a on just about everything. Got the fugly truckling charging system finally working and got her tuned up a little bit. She actually runs pretty good now. Got it timed. Bought a new timing light because my other one died when I went to go use it. So that started up, but yeah. So after getting the truck timed, still couldn't get the charge, swapped alternators, swapped alternators again. Had them both tested, they both tested good, so then just started running a bunch of grounds, even ran a ground right to the core support, then ran this ground right from the core support right to the battery. Fixed a problem. This truck runs no problems. Kinda. She's leaking a little oil out of the filter on top, directly on top of the starter. That's good for it though, keeps it well lubricated. And wasps are making a nest in the truck, had to spray that. Did some work on the Bronco, took it for a test drive around the block. Once I've got my timing light on this, I was able to get this to run a lot better. I uh, swapped the hoods. This is the hood off my diesel. Also swapped the grill. So it's an 86 front end on an 81. I'm going to be putting this chrome bumper on and this bull guard on it. But the guard needs some straightening out and it's pretty crappy so um, other than that I didn't realize this door has been open like all weekend Let's see if she oh yeah that's a good sign got her neutral <laughs> Runs pretty good. It's kind of weird is to get this in reverse, you actually got to push down on the whole stick and then you can get it in the reverse or else. Still trying to figure out a way to get that back window to roll down. But other than that, she runs pretty good. Oh. There we go. Kind of a pain. Now we'll make sure the door is shut. But I got blocks underneath the front because the tires don't hold air. But, yeah. Next vehicle I'm going to work on here is going to be the 96 Camaro. I'm going to try a different set of injectors in it, 30 pound injectors. I think I got a sticking one because for whatever reason when it when it runs, it runs super rich, and you got to rev, rev it up a little bit, clears out. Then uh, if it idles for a little while, it starts to flood itself out again. And I got to get my summer rims on there because uh, those tires are shot; they're just for storage. But instead of working on the Skyhawk, I'm going to work on the Stealth. Focus on the Skyhawk afterwards. So that was a lot of my. My project this weekend was getting that car into the back garage, getting this one out of the back garage, digging out the motor. So I got to swap a bunch of stuff from the turbo motor to the non-turbo motor. It looks like uh, the thermostat housing, the manifolds, oil pan, oil pump. Um, this right here is going to get switched over. And I'm going to take all the timing belt, my tensioner, all that stuff. That's all brand new on this. This one is not. Um, I don't know if you can tell if I'm sitting. Uh, I don't know. Like, this thing made some valve train noise. Uh, I had a tensioner noises, hopefully. It didn't seem like it was bad oil pressure or nothing. So, I don't think that's a bottom end issue. It better not be. Oh, I'm going to be pissed. So I gotta switch the oil pan, the oil pump, the manifolds, timing belt, tensioner. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my other water pump on there. It's brand new, so put a new water pump on this the thermostat housing. That bracket there for the timing, I believe. I believe this has to do with the timing. Turbos. I'm switching the pans because these pans got the drain holes in them. This one does not. 
And if I'm switching oil pumps, this is a 91 engine, that's a 96. So hopefully the oil pumps are interchangeable. If not, I'm gonna be kind of screwed on that one. But, cause like these oil pumps are like Pacific to like 91s, I think 91, 92 and 93 and a half maybe. Something like that. Maybe it's just 91 and 92s. I, I have to look it up again. But what it is, is the bottom of the oil pump down here is shaped a little different than the rest of them. So I gotta use the pan and the pump together. It's a brand new pump, so should work. Then I got lowering springs on a set of SL shocks for the front. I tried putting the lowering springs on the SL shocks for the rear, but they're different. Um, of course I don't got, oh, uh, here's a shock. Here's one of them, the SL shocks that I did not tear apart, but the perches are different sizes. The bottom fit, but the top don't. So, so I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm gonna put the SL wheels on my car, right? They don't fit. They don't clear the brake calipers. The offset's different. So I had to stick the original tire back on. So, but I better get to it before it starts to rain on me. They're talking some rain, some heavy rain, so. I'll be working on that outside. This will be this week's project. I got gaskets on order and stuff because I'm going to need uh, oil pump gaskets, water pump gaskets, the house, thermostat housing gaskets, exhaust gaskets, and I, I need upper intake gaskets. Just remember that. So spark, uh, spark plugs, I think those should still be good. They're brand new. Um... I'm probably going to switch the injectors from that onto this engine, just knowing that that's turboed injectors, and I don't know if they're the same or not. But I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to go through all this work and then find out the injectors are different. Color-wise, these look a little bit more reddish. These look a little bit more brownish. Maybe that's just fading, dirt, who knows, but I'm not going to risk it. be stupid to do all this work and then... Lean it out. Um, yeah. So, transmission for the Stealth is there. So, hopefully, by this coming weekend, I'll have this car together. Well, the motor and transmission made it up. Because, oh, I also got to swap the flywheels because this was an automatic car. And uh, that was all busted up the flex plate so yeah hopefully uh this will go better than the last one and that rebuilt engine which likes to uh play knock knock who's there and it's going to be rod one if i keep it up so fun stuff